I felt and saw this presence of something like a ghost. As I was reaching for my keys, something growled at me coming out of the basement. It was bad energy. I was sort of feeling like I was letting Satan out of hell. I saw out of the corner of my eye what I thought was the girl falling off the roof. I, I couldn't think. It was so loud and I was so terrified that I just froze. I'm not calling for that. I'm calling because I'm freaking out here. I felt this presence try to push itself down on top of me very violently. It would not go away. It was just freaking me out. And look at my arm and it's got a scratch on it. Welcome everybody to Ghost of Greystone Beverly Hills. My name is Cleet. And I'm Chris. And we are those Keith brothers. And we are extremely excited tonight, aren't we? It's a big night. <laughs> it is a big night. It and is a why big is night. It, why is it a big night? Because we have the recreation wing. Oh boy, we're entering the recreation. Remember we're in the boys wing? You go through that door, you're in the recreation wing. And it, it, there's so many stories that have happened in the recreation wing that uh, we split it up, mm -hmm. right? We yeah. split it in two parts. Two parts. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. Uh, what's, what is Tonight our... is the theater and the billiard room. Okay. So we're doing billiard room first, right? Yes. Okay. There, there weren't many things that happened in the billiard room. There's a bowling alley downstairs where they did There Will Be Blood. There's that bowling alley. Behind that bowling alley... In this, there's a wall there, uh, is the billiard room. And so uh, I just, we just didn't have many stories. Had a couple stories there, but one good one that we want to uh, get into tonight. But not a lot happened in that area. And honestly, not a lot happened in the bowling alley either. Mm -mm. I had one really good one, which we'll get into. That's that's the next show. But uh, this, uh, this was a kind of a wacky one mm -hmm. because uh, it's with uh, Charlie Ackerman. And and Charlie, you remember Charlie from the basement where uh, he was with uh, George Chavez, and they walked down the stairs and looked back, and they saw these Levi pants walking. This is the same <laughs> fella. This is Charlie. And uh, Charlie, I guess, went in uh, to the billiard room to, to talk to Ranger Steve Clark. Mm -hmm. And and this is let's let's get into. It. You have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, just some minor uh, interference on the phone call. You know, as usual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. It was a Disney one where they were filming in the billiard room. They turned it into um, a girl's dorm room uh, in a clock tower. Oh, okay. And it was a, it was kind of after the Harry Potter craze really took off, and they were doing, supposedly, it was, she was kind of like a female Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And Steve, at one point, Steve Clark said... Um, hey, you got to see what they've done to the billiard room. You're not going to believe what it looks like. And, of course, it was around lunchtime. So all the cast and crew were up on the, the main parking lot having lunch. There was nobody in the building. Mm -hmm. So we, we walked into the billiard room, down, went down the stairs to the billiard room. And, of course, the way that area is set up, there's only really one way in and one way out. Yep. And when we walked into the billiard room, they built a false wall between the billiard room and the bowling alley. See, so they couldn't see the bowling alley. Right. And we're standing there looking at everything and talking, and there's nobody else in the area except Steve and I. And suddenly there's three, there's three knocks on the wall. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> and we're looking at each other like, what the hell was that? And so, so I looked around the wall on the other side to see if somebody was playing a trick on us and there's nobody there so i just knocked on the wall knock 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 and we just sat there kind of going okay and then we got out of the room <laughs> <laughs> you know because it was it was it was kind of wild and i think that was um because i remember steve telling me like a week later you guys were down in the basement mm -hmm. and heard the same knock yep and he said, he goes, is that what Charlie heard? And Steve goes, yep. He goes, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's odd that it's three knocks. Yeah. Well, there's there's always the thing of the mocking of the Trinity. Have you ever heard of that? No. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. That if it's demonic, it's always in threes. Oh. Three scratches, oh. three knocks, three, always in oh. threes. Yeah. Um, this yeah. was in 2007, by the way. 
uh, Steve will tell you what the film was or the show was that they were, they put these plugs in, in essence, in these Ranger arches. Steve, he's yeah. up next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they have arches in, in this wall that you can see through to the bowling alley. So they plugged that up so they could use that room. It's a really tall room. They wanted to use that room. So Steve, I got a hold of Steve and asked him, what was his side of the story having heard these three knocks? Hmm. Yeah. Want to hear it? I guess so. Okay. I think it was the Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, okay. Because they had just, Disney was cleaned out the lead paint from the turret. They made it safe because this place was locked down for years for mold and all that. Mm -hmm. And they came in and cleaned it out because they really wanted to shoot in this room. And we came here with Charlie and I forget what we were talking about. Literally, we were sitting here and there was this knock. I mean, just like that loud. Now, these were closed up, these, right? So you couldn't see through. That's what I remember you telling me, that this was all blocked in. So you guys were standing on this side and you heard Yes. That. Right. Remind me whether it must have been blocked in for the, sh for the shot, uh, plugs or something. Mm hmm Yeah. So you heard two, two knocks? Yeah, it was like two knocks. I mean, very distinct. And we just looked at each other and I'm like, uh, <laughs> we came around the corner and we're like, what the hell was that? And didn't Charlie get out? Because that's what you told me. That Charlie went, okay, that's it. And he just left. Yeah, but it was similar when we were down in the basement with your sister. Didn't remember where there was a knock there. I forgot all about that. And you, you jumped, you were scared. You yeah. just jumped behind somebody. Yeah, yeah I jumped behind like, my sister. <laughs> you jumped behind your sister. But that was the same. It was just a very distinct. Right. And it wasn't like wood creaking either. It was, I mean, it was loud. Isn't wow. that crazy? And then you look around the. It's just. It's There's just, nothing there. Yeah, it's like a foot and a half or something. Like there's a big, uh, like pole there that that's a square. You know, I don't know what you call it, like a. Uh, a column. Yeah, kind of like a column. That's an arch there too. And so he just looked around there, and there's nobody there. And you know, how many times have we done these shows, and we've talked about apparitions and things, and there's nobody there. Right. Always. They look and there's no, usually they don't find out, although they have. they actually seen them before. So. Right. What do you, what, what, All right, we're, jump, we're jumping to the theater. Already? Uh, yes. Two okay. stories there in the billiard room. Okay. Now we're going to the theater. Um, you're inside talking to Christian. Who, who is he? Okay. Christian Murga. Okay. I think he'd be fine with that. It's in the book. Uh, yep. Really great guy. And he was a an electrical contractor who came in because... This is a whole thing where where uh, the theater, like like Steve had mentioned, down in the in the uh, bowling alley and in the billiard room and upstairs from that was the theater. Is the theater, mm. and the theater uh, had mold and dry rot and everything up in the ceiling. It was it oh, it was, had mold. Oh yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, and 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 the seats and everything were just it was just disgusting. Nobody had used it since uh, well probably eighty two. Wow, right? So uh, I, I knew that when they started doing the renovation, things were going to happen because I'd place my recorder in the theater over the years. Really, nothing. I probably got something. I, I never I never placed a recorder and never got nothing. I always got something, no matter where I placed when it. When there was renovation. No, no. Through, in 22 years, whenever I placed my recorder in the house or in the theater or whatever, I got at least one sound. Mm. And I don't mean like a creak. or I mean like a knock or a door or whatever. You always hear something. Um, but the theater wasn't a big place where we go into because it was the mold and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. right? It was bad. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we didn't get a lot of, uh, of sounds in there. We didn't want to go in there, so we never really went in there. But once I knew that they're going to start renovating this theater, and I mean gutting it to the cement and the the uh, wiring, right. which they were going to change the wiring, and that's why Christian was here. He was an electrical contractor. He was overseeing all the new wiring that was coming in. Thus, his his workers under uh, under him, who were electrical apprentices— they were doing a lot of the work, and he was overseeing it. Okay. So this was this was Kristen. Uh, uh, I, I had told Christian. Him, Christian, I'm right. sorry. I had told him uh, when he came in, and they started to do the work. I said, "Anything going on?" He goes, "What, what does that mean?" I was, "Have you had any?" He goes, "I don't know." What you, I mean, like, well, 
you're stirring up the energy in, in, in the theater. And I go, I'm, I'm talking about spirits and stuff like that. And he goes like, oh, wow. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, I haven't, nothing. But it wasn't, it wasn't long mm -hmm. before things start happening. And this is what he's going to tell you about okay. what happened to him. Okay. So I said okay. right here, none of these lights were on. The door was open though. And I was looking at some of these panels right here. And then right here, like it looked like someone just shining a laser like right here. And I looked and I'm like, the heck? And then... So you look back because it came, it looked like... It, it looked was, like, it, I saw it in the corner, like I didn't see it directly, but I saw it like, right, I was looking like up here and, it, and I saw the like, you know, peripheral vision to my right down here. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I didn't know if it was just a trick in my eye or some weird thing, you know? Like I didn't, I didn't think too much about it, but that same day was when the light turned, when the, that same day was when I thought I'd turn my LED light off and came back and it was on again. And this is all, I, in, all inside day. the theater. Yes. In the theater here. Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Don't they have, these guys, they all have like lasers and things like that, yeah, right? Yeah, right, right, right. So it could have been one of his other no, workers? No, or? no, no. Well, because what he's, what he's saying is, and, and, and I, I did grill him on this, and, and I'll let him... Well, he, yeah, we have a second part yeah, of that. we'll let him talk again. But at the end of this, and I want to tell you what I, what I said to him, but um, uh, when you have a laser, it's a, it's a line. Right. He saw a red dot. He saw a red dot moving around. Not, there's no line to it. It's just a red dot moving around. Well, if there's no uh, dust or anything like that, you'll just see the dot. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can see that. No, no, you won't. That's, that's my point to him, mm. which we'll talk about. Oh, okay. And we'll do it. Okay. Yeah. So when you saw the red laser, what was your first thought of, like... Well, because see, it, the thing about it was it wasn't... It didn't seem bright enough to be a laser... Do you see what I mean? It was like real soft, but it was red for sure. Like that's the first thing that came out of mind, it being a laser pointer. And it was that small then, right? Yeah, very small. Yeah, and it was like, it just kind of floated here for a split second, you know? And then And then I looked or... over there. Yeah, it was just gone. And I, and I was like, that was weird. Like, I don't know. And then I just kind of just kept, kept going. Like, I, I didn't think about it too much. I was like, usually if you think of ghosts or something, you just think like a big... Spirit or a bright light or something. This is very, very small. Mm -hmm. But I saw, I, I definitely saw a red thing, but I don't know what it was. So then, and with your LED light, you had that on. So that was over here. I was on the back of the stage. Okay. And I don't know, like I said, I could have left it on, but I've been turning it off when I was leaving. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back, it was on, and I thought, you know, like, didn't I turn that off? Like, did I? And I was, like, kind of going back and forth, you know, but that was, that's pretty much it. Because a lot of times people, when, like, the red light or LED, whatever, they question themselves as opposed to, no, no, I know for a fact because it's so hard to believe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, that was, the, the light thing would definitely be hard to believe, like, if it just turned itself back on. You know? so yeah. I yeah. guess I was, you know, could have sworn I'd turn it off. I know, I know when I was, I was turning it off, you know, I'd leave, I'd go check on the guys down there, I'd turn it off, come back, turn it on. Right. And this time when I came back, it was on, and it was like, I'd been turning it off. Like, did I forget that time? I don't know. And, yeah. and, and the laser pointer, um, did, did it have movement to it? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, it did like a movement, you know, like, but it was so subtle. It, like, it really couldn't have been a laser, but that's all I thought it could have been. Because, okay. like, the movement of it was, it was like a squiggly line, you know, like, it moved, like, kind of floated around in a weird little, like, mm -hmm. zigzaggy type of thing. That's what made me, like, notice it, that it was moving, you know? But I've seen a million red lasers. It definitely was, like, not bright enough to be a laser. And what, what time of the day was this? It was about noontime. It was the middle of the day, yeah. Okay. Were you the only one in here? I was the only one in here, yeah. That's why I couldn't have said any. If someone was in here with me, I would have said something. Right. Like, did you have this light on or is this light on? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know. That, that definitely is what What do I, you think it was? If, if it wasn't somebody back here. What, the and, red light? And red you're light? the only person here. What do you think it was? So if I were to try to make a logical explanation for it, I would say, like, uh, Trick in my eyeball. I don't know. <laughs> refraction of light in my eyeball. I don't know. Have you ever had that refraction of light in your eyeball before? No, but 
No, I haven't. But you know, like if like you uh, get hit in the head or something, and you mm-hmm. like see see stars mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. like that, something like that. But this was like straight red. You know, I know it was right. red. I remember that's. I see the. I and saw you didn't red. hit your, You didn't hit your head, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, I, I should be wearing my hard hat, but I, I didn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty trippy though. But I don't know. Okay, man. That's... I hope that kid helps you. But, that, but the fact that you told me about someone seeing that mm-hmm. makes me uh, a little. More tripped out, I guess. Uh, that that's that they seen those little little laser pointers, pretty mm-hmm. much. Thing, yeah. Okay, that was it. Uh, what we were talking about was, I told him that Juan had seen a red light inside the grand entry mm-hmm. that he watched. And it went over to the, and he even drew a diagram for me. It went over to here, then it went over to there. Oh. And he'd, I think twice he saw red lights mm. inside the mansion. So it's not something like we've never heard it. But the fact that, it, what, what I love is, I thought I turned that off. It, you know, it's, again, justification. Like, wait a minute. Wait, no, maybe I didn't turn that off. But, but, but. Yeah. Uh, he did say, well, I could have forgotten. You know, I did. Yeah. I mean, with the LED light, when he turns it off, when he goes away and stuff like that, that's almost explainable. Yeah. It, it doesn't. If he's used to doing it every time, he mm-hmm. probably did. But I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got a you. Possibility. And and the red light was that not, I don't know what the red light was not. It didn't have like a beam, and then the beam has to go somewhere and hit against something, right? Yeah. So against a wall, whatever. Right. He so, said this was just floating. Yeah, it's just a floating red oh, light. Oh, okay. That's... So there, there's no beam, and it's floating in the air. It has to hit something in order for that. Yeah. No, that's not a laser. Yeah, no. Uh, Isn't that great? Yeah, that's pretty interesting. And that's when I said, look, off off uh, the recorder, I said, hey, things are going to start happening. I told you, things are going to start happening. So you let me know if if any of your workers had something happen. Mm-hmm. And, and I'd show up in the morning and go, Clayt. He'd yell across the, the courtyard. I'd go, hey, Christian, how you doing? He goes, good. Scott. I go, What's that? Scott. You got to talk to Scott, the big beard. Talk to Scott. I go, oh, Okay. And I'd find Scott Smith. Scott Smith. Okay. And I'd find Scott and I'd say, hey man, by the way, yeah. just so you know. Yeah. And I don't know if we talked, I don't think we talked about this, mm. but there was a guy, maybe I did talk about down the basement, who had something happen to him down the basement, saw a kid or something. And they told me, hey, whatever his name was, saw some guy down there, freaked him out. I said, really? Who was the guy? He pointed him out. He was like coming out of the restroom. And I said, hey man. He goes, he was a big guy. And he goes, hey, he didn't know who I was. I said, I work here. My name's Cleet. I just wanted to say hello to you. And uh, did something happen to you down in the basement? And he stopped and he looked at me. And he didn't say yesterday. I said, I mean, did, did he's a, he was a huge guy. I go, I just wondered if something happened down there. Because I'm not going to talk about it. Mm. I said, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Just don't hurt me. I think it's what I said. No, I don't think you said no? that well, to I him. Well, I could have. That's something I would say, no, by the way. Okay, wow. so. Wow. Yeah. So something happened to that guy. He didn't, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. When things are happening like that, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people are so freaked out or so unnerved by it that they don't, they don't yeah, even want to talk about it. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I, I can understand that. Yeah. So Scott, it says mm-hmm. here, he, he was the electrical apprentice? Yeah, he was under working for a Christian, I think. Okay, uh, and, and the theater was gutted, completely gutted with wires hanging out and all that Yeah, stuff. yeah. Okay. So you're down to the cement and you're down to wires. And I think Scott was overseeing or doing some of the wiring, either clipping it and getting rid of it or mm. pulling it through or what have you. Okay. Uh, at the very end. So um, he was inside there and something happened to him. Okay, let's listen to Scott. We were demoing out some existing electrical. Uh, basically, I was just cutting up some pipes and we had... One light source, a small little plug-in light, probably about 50 feet behind me. And uh, as I was cutting up the pipe, right above the entrance to the theater from the spiral staircase, I saw a shadow figure walking behind me. But I saw the shadow above the doorway. And when I turned around, there was nothing there, obviously. There was no I was the only one in there. Now, explain that. Okay, so, uh, and uh, and I remember I, I, I took some photos because I wanted to remember this because the place was gutted, and so I took some photos above the, the door that he's talking about. So he is, there's a door that leads into the uh, 
the landing of the spiral staircase. Right. 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 So right. that door is 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 open. There it is. Right. And above that is a big area that's part of the the building within. Right. Um, that had pipes and things take, taken out. And so he is working around that area. His uh, his light fixture that he has, you know, one of those that they have in construction, they're like, sometimes they're orange or yellow that you can bend and you turn them on and they're just a big Yeah, work beam. lights. Yeah, like a work, work light, lights. right? He had it behind him. He said like 50 feet. I think he ends up saying, eh, maybe about 30. Behind him, so... He's up there working. The light's behind him, and up on the wall, he sees a shadow moving, which means it had to be behind him. Oh. Right? So he sees yeah, a yeah, shadow Yeah, 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 right. He thinks it's the... Uh, it's, he, he doesn't know what it is. Yeah. So that's why he looks back and goes, there's nobody here. I'm just the only one in here. What walked... What was that shadow that right, went across the right, wall? Right, right, right. I see. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So does he say something else? Yes, he does. Yeah, let's hear what he says. Okay. Okay, so you're facing the door then? Yeah, so I'm just to the right of the door, mm -hmm. up against the cement riser for the... Uh, for the projection room. Projection room, correct. Okay, so you're there, and so how do you see any shadow from where? So the light was behind me about 50 feet away, but I mean, I still had visual on the... above the doorway. Okay. I wasn't in the projection room. I was standing basically outside. standing just to the right of the doorway. Okay. But in doing that, where, where was that shadow? Where did you see I that shadow? I saw the shadow above the doorway. And what do you mean by above the door? That's where I'm confused. Well, the, the light was basically right, shined right there. I see. Okay. So, so whatever, whatever shadow had to have been between 50 you. feet behind me because that's where the light source was coming from. Interesting. So you're working there. The light is... The up, light's on the floor, shining up. Shining up. And as you're working, you look to your left up and you see a shadow. Yeah. So that shadow would have to have come from behind you right. in front of no that light. No more than 50 feet. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. So yeah. um, what did you do when you had first... I just kept working. <laughs> but you had to look back to see who it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. I looked back instantly. There was no one there. I was the only one in there. I thought maybe someone had opened the door to come in through the back, but no, there's no one there. So when you see that there's no one there, what is your, what is your thought process then? That's what I'm curious about. It is what it is. <laughs> Work's got to get done. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it only happened the one time? Correct. Did you feel anything in the room? No. Nothing? No. No odd vibe or weird? Okay. No. No, okay. It's just, just a shadow. And, and in your mind, it was De definitely uh, peculiar. I I'll give you that. I mean, okay. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason for it. But yeah, I know I didn't feel any energy, any cold, nothing, no, no heavy feeling, nothing like that. Okay. I mean, obviously, I was kind of in in a hurry, but yeah. Did it go through your mind? Well, this must be something. Oh yeah, I figured that. It's probably probably a ghost. <laughs> now, had you heard things about the ghost? Yeah. Here? So. So, and having heard things about the ghosts here, and you see that shadow, your process was, oh, it must be a ghost. I got to keep working. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. It was, it was definitely a shadow figure walking. Now, what, what did the, the shadow look? Could you tell? Yeah. It was it, it just, you know, it, out of the corner of your eye, it just looked like someone walking by. Could you see any features of the shadow? No. It was just a, just, a dark just, yeah, just, a shadow. You know, just I mean, it was and it was quick. It was like, Phew. wow. So if I'm if you're looking at the projection room, it was from the projection room. So from right to left, correct. It crossed that light behind you, correct. right to left. Correct. Hmm. Okay. Any thoughts about what you think it it may have been? I mean, an overall basis. Uh, I'm a spirit. I'm appearing. Uh, That's right. I'm assuming some kind of spirit or I don't know. Yeah, something like that. So now that you're working in there, does it bother you at all? Or are you just like, you just still, care. you don't care? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> More than merrier. Have you heard other stories here? No, not really. I just, From, I just heard there. I, I was down in the tunnel for two weeks. 
And yeah. I loved every minute. I would sit there and whistle, turn the light off. Yeah. I like all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's so, it's very it's interesting. Very cool. Yeah. It's just that this place has it's the, it's the first time I've ever seen anything like that mm-hmm. in person. You know, okay. you always hear stories, but right. this is the first time I was like, Oh yeah, that was definitely something. It was cool. <laughs> so but there are other stories from fellow workers of yours that I've interviewed now yeah. about things that have happened in there and sounds and crashes and all those things. Mm-hmm. And it appears that doing the renovation has brought some stuff up. I believe it. Yeah. I totally believe it. This is hands down the most interesting, coolest job site I've ever been on. Somebody was floating above that doorway. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's, it's not yeah. possible. No, it'd have to be in front of that. Is that was that and the this light? This was before we had all the tent power. No, it's one of those little husky ones you get. Gotcha. I saw the painter ones. Saw, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the only light source in there. Uh-huh. Like I said, it was could have been more than fifty feet behind me. Probably more like 30 feet, to be honest. So that whatever came next to you was like 30 feet away? Probably, yeah. Yeah, it had yeah, to be. Yeah. Interesting. Man. Interesting. And it was like, instant turn around, nothing there. He sounds so calm. Yeah, I like, know. Like, yeah, it's just all in a day's work. He was the coolest dude. He had a big beard, and he was just like, just chilling. Wow. Yeah. What, what was he talking about, the tunnel? Uh, the tunnels, I think... What was that? One of two things. I believe it's th- there are tunnels. I think underneath the building there because they have to pull uh, wire and things underneath okay. the uh, the the um, projection room. So I think that was. I think it was a tunnel. I'm guessing. I've never heard anybody say tunnel. Yeah, yeah. The, from from there to the remember on on the back road, mm-hmm. the back road mm-hmm. there was that thing that mm-hmm. looked like a jail. Remember, it had a, had a door with a with. Uh, yeah, it was the ele- was it the. Yeah, electrical? yeah, yeah. So that's where they're pulling, I mm. think, from there. So I'm guessing it's it's a tunnel underneath. I see. From there to the uh, uh, to the theater. I so, see. Now, if it's not that, then he's talking about the catacombs. I don't know why he'd be in there. In catacombs under the the ma- the mansion, uh, m- maybe there was some reason to do that. Have you ever been in the catacombs? Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're freaky. I've never been there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of it's it's weird. It's Ooh. all the way th- under the whole mansion. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, is that where they were talking about? If you entered the catacombs, could you take the direct route down to the city? Remember, they used to. Ha- yeah, you could well, get an escape route down to the well. Actually, police department. actually, there was a tunnel that went from in the basement when you first went down the basement uh, stairs mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. the left. You remember where the? Uh, I think it was where the. Uh, um, clothes mm-hmm. uh, washer, so-called washer and dryer, mm-hmm. that area. I think there was an opening, a tunnel that you could go in, and it went down from there all the way to sunset. That That is real. Right. And they, uh, I think, once uh, Henry Crown got it, whatever, he they, they uh, imploded the tunnel so oh. nobody could use that. But, uh, yes, they... They did have that. Uh, the catacombs were, you know, when you go into the basement and you go toward the electrical panel... Mm-hmm. You go to the left, and that door that you can kind of look in and see, and it's like it goes mm-hmm. under. Right, right. That, that's the catacombs. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. It's, All right. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Well, there you go. Okay. Um, uh, the next one? Yes. We have uh, another story involving the theater. Uh, it's with a ranger didn't want a oh. name in the book, this one. Okay. Ranger this, M. Ra- range, the mysterious, look what it's called, mysterious Ranger M. Hmm. Can we go with that? Yeah, okay. sure. Good. This ranger, I'm, I will try not to say the ranger's name. I'll See how I got it. around that? I'll bleep it. I got around that yeah, right there. You did well. Um, was working, uh, closing up, and something happened. I'm just going to make it real simple. Something happened while this ranger was closing up. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Not just a regular day. There's, oh. there's nothing going on. The construction wasn't even going on. So I was just locking up and turning off all the lights. So you're just kind of prepping what was on in the house, just some lights at the, at the opening there, at the entry? Yeah, there's, there's no lights really on because oh. it was pretty bright. Um, not that I was aware of that there were lights, like that there were lights temporarily on up here because of Kristen, but you know, she had left. So I turned off all the lights. I think I only found one light on and that was Mrs. Doheny's closet, that's it. Okay. You know the little lights in mm-hmm. there? So you find that's on, you turn that off, and then tell me what happened from there. So I literally just start closing up, get everything locked up. 
Then I went into um, the second level where the winding sterile is mm -hmm. and I start walking up just to check the door it was unlocked to you know get into the, the boys wing more boys wing and I was like oh maybe they want it unlocked so I left it unlocked so I started walking up the stairwell and I hear a big crash like boom like it sounded like you know when you watch tv and then the ceiling falls through so wow. yeah really really loud so I was like you know because I know construction's there so I don't want to turn on the lights in case of electricity or some problem. So I have a flashlight that's really bright, like almost looks like daylight. I walk through everything. I don't see anything broken or damaged. I walked through the whole theater. I walked upstairs. I went down into the bowling alley. I didn't see anything. And everybody's out of the park by now? Or? No, no. People are in the park on the outside. Mm -hmm. But no one's in the side of the mansion. And it came from inside? Yes. It was sounded it? like it was coming from the theater. Because remember, I was walking up the stairwell that's right above the theater. I was not even halfway up those stairs. And I could hear, boom. So I just, real quick, walked really fast and started putting my flashlight on and checked all the areas. I didn't see anything. And so you went inside the theater? Yeah. And there was nothing? Nothing could have floated. Nothing that I saw. I mean, what if there's something on the roof or something? I even walked out to, you know, that little area that says don't mm -hmm. go on. I didn't walk on it, but I opened that lock, you know, on the top stairwell. Yeah. Right next to where the boys' wing is. And I went and I peered out and went there. I looked on the top. I didn't see anything fall through. So I, 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 I did my due diligence and I tried... To see, did anything break? Did because it, it sounded like something crashed. That's crazy. So I'm just, so I'm thinking like maybe in the roofing area that we can't see. Because you know? they're working on the roof right now. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe there. So that's what I'm thinking. Did you guys talk to them? Because I'm thinking maybe something that I can't vi visually see. Mm -hmm. So that's what I heard. Just something crashed, like boom. And it was that loud, huh? Yeah. There's people outside, but nothing could yeah. have made that noise outside. So it had to be coming from inside. So I just assume it's construction. Mm -hmm. And they were all gone. No, they're not there for the day. They were yeah. not okay. there here. Yeah. Okay. But um, I'm just thinking maybe something residual left over. Just. Well, it's a very, it's a good uh, guess. That's my thought, <laughs> but I didn't see. There was nobody. Kristen was gone. It was just me by myself, just closing everything up. Did it scare you? It must have scared you. No. It didn't scare you? No. I just thought it was like something residual from, like, I just, oh my gosh, what's that noise? It just made me, like, jump a little bit, uh -huh. but it didn't, like, terrify me. Okay, I'm just yeah. like, I didn't feel like I was in danger, so that's why I had no problem going everywhere and looking, you yeah. know. But I, I couldn't see anything. Because that sound would almost make you think, well, something fell. It had to be. It can't yeah. be. It's not a ghost thing. Yeah. You know, it's something actually fell. i got to find out what it was. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I could think it maybe it's a ghost thing if it was anywhere in the mansion, but it's where the construction is getting done on the theaters. See, this, and this is what I love about that. Because that that reminds me of, of Patrick, right? Remember Patrick mm -hmm. in the uh, in in the Mrs. Doheny's uh, parlor, in her mas the master dressing room, he heard that voice in his ear and said, "You missed one," and he kept thinking, "Well, it, that's it's not a problem because nobody died in this room. Well, you yeah. don't have to die right. in that room. Right? There are tons of spirits at, at Greystone, on the outside and on the inside, and so they can go in and out of the theater. What else? There's <laughs> It's not like nobody, they didn't yeah. die there. They can't go in. But what what also was interesting to me is that this sound was so loud. Uh, when when we were talking, she was telling me that she thought it, it sounded like a, like a crash on a movie. You just, <laughs> you see, a, it was that loud. And so there had to be something that fell. And I ended up talking to Christian Murga. The next day and said, hey, man, did you guys have anything that, that came down or something inside there, whatever? And he goes, I don't know what you talk about. Did anything fall like ladders or anything come through the roof? And he goes, no, man, everything's cool. I said, okay, just checking. So see, if I if I was Ranger M mm -hmm. and I heard that huge crash yeah. it, in my head, it had to be something I would be searching for. It. Right, right. If I didn't find it, yeah. 
I would still think it's somewhere. Yeah, because yeah. if it was that loud. Yeah, I I I it's agree very with strange. you. And 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 the the crazy I was going to say crazy thing, and also the interesting and great thing is like with Chan when he sees Emily for the first time, mm -hmm. it's a real child. Right. When she hears this, it's a real oh, it's sound a crash. and crash. Uh, National Treasure 2, you heard those sounds. Something had to be shoved over. Well, you go in there and you don't really see this huge, crazy right. crash that took place. Same for her with this. And last thing on this. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we have one more piece. Oh, there is? Yeah. Play it, play it. Let's do that. Okay. I physically couldn't find anything. So that's why I called, well, I called Dan because of the alarm thing. And I forgot because I was so like yeah. befuddled with the alarm mm -hmm. thing. And mm -hmm. then I said, oh, by the way, like just in case, like if you see anything broken, <laughs> you know, the next day. Wow. Yeah, I heard a crash. So I don't like, but it wasn't like, oh, like a lamp fell over. Mm -hmm. It was like, boom. I've never heard a crash that loud in person, you know, like. You only watch TV and you hear how a crash sounds like. And right. It sounded like, it sounded like a ceiling fell through. Really? What do you think it was? I mean, what else could it, I don't know what it could be. I'm thinking ceiling from the roof? I don't know. I don't know. I don't deal with construction. But I mean, since it wasn't that. Well, nothing I could see, but I mean, maybe it didn't fall through here, but maybe on the top or, <laughs> I don't know. I don't deal with construction, but... Uh, yeah, I mean... I mean, I can talk to Christian. Yeah, I mean, that's what who I'd talk to is probably the construction guys. Did anything fall through or... I'll find know, out. Yeah. When he finishes, I'll go find him. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of other than that. If, if he says no, what do you think it was? <laughs> I don't know then. I probably, I'm just saying. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe what? <laughs> Maybe the place is haunted. Maybe they don't like that we're touching the theater. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know if anything traumatic has happened to the theater ever, you know. Did you ever, did you follow up with Dan? Not with Dan. To I, see I, if he got, I mean, nope. she told him that something crashed or whatever. He would just, if nothing was reported to yeah, him, he, he would just Yeah, he would just say, it. I didn't, well, nothing was yeah. given to me. But I, I followed up with Christian. Yeah. That next morning, right. hey, did you see anything? Nothing. Yeah. Um, one other thing about this is because of that story, I end. Uh, I took my recorder and put it inside the theater. And you set the recorder on sensitive so you can hear whatever's going on in there. And I have this this recording, but it's it's not even worth playing because it's w w what happens is in the middle of the night there's a. <laughs> The the crash is so loud that oh, it shuts down the right. mic. I remember so that. Because it, <laughs> it, it has a lim the mic has a limiter on it, and so when it's above, when it's way way loud, it just shuts it down. Right. You don't get you just hear you know. Like, right, right. And this shut oh, down. Man. Too bad. So had I had it lower, we would have heard that crash. Not on sensitive. A right. Little less. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would have been interesting. I know, man. Damn. And I, dude, trust me, man. It just oh, it oh hurt me. sure it did. Hurt me. Well, uh, the next story corroborates Ranger M's story. This is Ralph Flores. Mm. Ralph. I'm trying to figure out what, what happened with Ralph. Well, we can play the first one. It's two sections. Yeah. Um, he came back from the parking lot. Oh, oh, okay. i got to set you up. Thanks. For, for okay. I, I forgot about this. Um, um, I'm not sure he, he explains it uh for those of you who don't know the location or, or what the, the layout, uh, his thing is he finished for the day and went up to the top parking lot, which is up above stairs all the way up to the top parking lot where there's a there's a huge parking lot that underneath is a 20 million gallon water reserve. Mm -hmm. And so he went- That's up, incredible. That's incredible. The I, size well, of that boy, blows your mind. Yeah, there's actually a little boat in there. Yeah. Yeah. Did, were you down there? Yeah. Did you ever go down? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to go in there. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's re remarkable when yeah. you see the actual size of yeah, it. Yeah, and, and we'll we'll try to put a little photo here yeah. if we can, if we can find one from for I have on one. YouTube. Do you? Yeah, for, on YouTube, so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah. But I will tell you, what I've always wanted to do is put a recorder in there, in 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 the uh, water oh, reserve. Why? Because you think you'd get anything down there? You bet. You I, bet. You'd hear a lot, but. There's a lot of water and yeah, lapping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it wouldn't be any lapping. No. There wouldn't be any movement. No, but that's why you probably hear something. 
I think you'd hear something. Mm, mm. But so Robert finishes his day. It's like three or three thirty something, and he goes up to the top parking lot, forgets something, has to come back, and that's what he's going to talk about. Oh, okay, about. yeah, okay, here we go. Tell and me what, what happened. Well, everybody left. We cleared out, and then when we went, got to the parking lot. I forgot my blueprints, so I was like, "Let me go get my blueprints." So I came, and then this door was open. That door was open, and I was like, when I got in there, I was like, "Oh, man, it's, it's kind of you get that little funny feeling." Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, we broke it up in two spots. Okay, so l l let me explain something to you. When he comes back down from the top parking lot, he's in the east court now. Remember the the photos or the 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 um by the firehouse. Firehouse, just across west of the firehouse is a staircase. That staircase goes into the theater, mm -hmm. up above mm -hmm. into the theater. So there's that door, or you can go around the corner into the inner courtyard. And at the far end of the inner courtyard, on the right-hand side, is another door that leads you into the spiral staircase. And you're, right there is the landing that can get you into the theater mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So he's going, he's thinking, I can go through this. This is the fastest way. Go in through this door, the east door. Or I can go in through the inner, uh, inner courtyard and go in. I think I'll just take the east court door. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's listen to this. And I just felt like awkward like you like. Is somebody watching me or what? So okay, now I, can, I let me ask you, I'm ask you a question as you, as you keep going through this. Was it, did you get that because you knew of stories here that you heard that this place was kind of creepy um, or something? Or was this something, a feeling that no, you actually No, it was actually got? that. And then when, once I brought it up, everybody just started saying, oh, this place is haunted. Oh, s***. Okay, but yeah. when you felt that creepy feeling, was that actually, you're actually feeling something? Or was it in your head like, oh, I know these stories, so it's kind of creepy? No, actually, I got the little... You felt it. The little what vibe. Okay. Yeah, so then I looked at my blueprints all the way across over there. <laughs> across and I was, the yeah, room. So I'm at this room, and I look across over there, and I'm like, what the f***? I don't want to walk all the way over there. So then um, I close this door, and then I go and grab my prints and come out that front door, because okay. I didn't want to come back this way. Yeah, the... the and then I close this door. The east courtyard. Mm-hmm. When I come out that door, closing, in I just hear something inside, boom, slam. So I didn't want to go in and check anymore. I just left. So next morning when we came in, there was nothing really like, I thought that maybe something would have been on the floor, but everything was just how we left it. I thought maybe a ladder had fell or something, but everything was where it was supposed to be. And it was loud. Yeah. Okay, because I have another ranger who had the same thing happen, yeah. right? Closing up at night, she heard this. She thought the ceiling caved in. That's yeah. how loud it was for no, her. I, heard of, I thought something like a ladder when the ladder falls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but obviously not. So next morning we came in. We were the first ones to come in. And I was like, let me pick up maybe the ladder. But I was like, oh, shit, nothing fell. So I don't know what the, what it was. Um, wh what do you think it might have been? Now, you got that creepy feeling. I don't know. Maybe just this old place. You know, I didn't know nothing about it until after I started mentioning. Then everybody started saying it. Then I started hearing different stories. I was like, oh, right. Right, right, yeah. right. So, just, you know, maybe it just looks spooky or whatever. Whatever. I don't know what it is. <laughs> wow. Is that awesome? You know, I would, I, it's, it was so much fun for me to hear these stories and let people know I'm the guy to come to because I, I, want, I want to hear everything. And I'll talk to you about it. I won't think you're nuts. I'll listen to everything. I'll record it. I might be doing a book. That was the whole thing. When I started hearing these things that were corroborating each other, I was like, God, I love this because now it, it dovetails. Right. It all falls into place. Right. And here's here's uh, Ranger M. I didn't do it. Close. Ranger M was well done. I was going yeah, yeah. to say mystery. I might but, have to. Uh, no, you won't. Ranger M. Yeah. When she hears that crash, which she says sounds like something she saw in a movie. You know, that's these explosions. That's allowed. That's, that's just loud. Not, yeah. And then this 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 uh, guy Ralph comes. So he goes to the door. Opens the door, which is the easy way because it's right there. He comes in, goes, and he feels that vibe and goes, sees his blueprints all the way across. And he wouldn't the even room. go get them. Nope. It was that strong. Nope. He went, nope. He went into the courtyard, went into the other door, reached in the room, grabbed them, and came back out. That is so funny. The greatest. That is so funny. Thank you, Robert. Or that was Ralph. That was Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. Up next is Robert. Oh, okay. Um, and this one, this uh. one, another favorite. Yeah, Another man. favorite. It's unbelievable. Yes. Let me. Can I go set ahead, you? Let me ahead. set you up, ladies Don't and tip gentlemen. It. Don't I won't. Tip it. I'll do the best I can. All right. Um, this was this was one where Christian said to me, Clay. I said, Hey, man. And he goes, Ralph. Ralph. You got to talk to Did everybody on his crew have any experience? 
Uh, not everybody, not everybody, but a lot of them did. Yeah. And if they didn't have it, they were telling others because there's another guy in the next show. Uh, G, well, that's what you wanted me to call him. Okay. G, okay. who had something happen. Wow. All these guys said it's okay. just weird stuff. So, um, anyway, with with uh, with Christian in the morning, he said Ralph. Ralph. I go, which guy? That guy. Okay. And, and this story, in a way, corroborates Patrick's. Yes, right? very much so. Okay. And um, Ranger Patrick. Ranger Patrick, and uh, the area in which Ralph was working. Is small. Ralph or Robert? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Robert. Okay. Sorry, guys. Robert is working, is a very confined, small unit under, you know where they're going to put in the uh, the projectors, mm -hmm. right? Inside the theater. So you, they, there's like, the projectors are higher than the seats, right? It's because they're going to project above you. So there is a platform. Under that platform which is a cemented platform under that. You got to get in. That's probably part of the tunnel thing that, that uh, Scott was talking mm -hmm. about. But you have to get in to this small little area to work and bring the electricity in. Okay. And, and, um, and, and uh, Robert was, was, a, was a bigger fella. So he's in a small confined. It was okay. probably really confining to him. Was there anything else that you wanted to add? No, that, that's good. Before that, you tip it? <laughs> no, that was, I'm just saying. Uh, Golly, See, man. you know you you no. knew you were going on too no. long because uh, and you're gonna no, say I'm, everything that's in I'm this less, guy's interview. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> Jeez. All right, can we hear it now? I hope so. Oh yeah, right. Here I'm we waiting go. on you. Here we go, Robert. Let's talk about what happened to you. First of all, uh, you're an electrician. Yes. Okay, so you're working on the theater, inside the theater. So tell me what happened. It was it a morning? It what was. Time? It was a morning. It was, I want to say, closer to 6.30, almost 7 o'clock. We were inside the cubby hole over here where the transformer's at. Okay. I'm actually struggling to try to get a, um, a fitting on. And all of a sudden, well, we had two guys standing on the outside. They were making up a head for our next wire pull. And I'm in there by myself. I feel someone right next to my right, like just like they were looking over me. And I, I could feel it. And someone says, do you need help with that? And I'm all, what? And I turn around, no one's there. I said it what so loud that the guys outside were like, who are you talking to? I was like, dude, I could have sworn you guys were messing with me or you guys were there with me because I felt a presence. And it kind of just, I kind of got tripped out for the, for like a, for a few minutes. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> all right, this has happened. I, I told them, I was like, hey, dude. He's like, I felt it. They're like, dude, I heard, we heard you. And we kind of heard you seem kind of like startled after, so... That was pretty much the... Have you ever had anything like this before happen to you? No. And was it, uh, what, what, was it a male voice? Um, it's, yeah, it was, because I thought it was might have been one of the guys. That's why I was kind of like, oh, what? Like, I thought they were just kind of messing with me. But it, it was, it kind of tripped me out, to be honest with you. For like the first couple of minutes, I was like, all right, I was like, I was kind of like, I didn't know what to feel, and then I didn't know what to think. I was just kind of like... There and then the guys were messing around with me after a while, but I was like, "No, dude, I swore I heard it." And like, what made me know for one hundred percent, I felt it. Like if someone was looking over my shoulders. So you could actually feel like there was a presence there. Yeah, that's why I thought I because I thought maybe the guys might have slipped into the window uh, through the into the into the room. Yeah. Without me kind of like not paying attention because I was actually really really struggling getting the wire through the the connector, and um. So I just thought, okay, maybe they're, they're, we're, they're in and out all the time. So I thought maybe I was just paying attention because I was do, doing uh, what I needed to do. And I was struggling. And they were just kind of looking over because we kind of mess around stuff like that too. So I kind of thought they were just them. But when I turned around, there was no one there. And I said, what so loud that they actually, I mean, they heard me. They're like, dude, who are you talking to? And I was just like, dude, I thought it was you guys. And so what's going through your head when you look and there's nobody there? What are you thinking at that point? Well, I thought it might have been one of the ghosts just because, I mean, we heard stories from you guys or, I mean, everyone says it's haunted and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, well, maybe it was them just kind of like protecting the house, I guess, because they, they want to, they, they know, I guess there's there's upgrades happening and I don't know, maybe they wanted to help out. I mean, I, that's, I was kind of tripping. I was like, pretty friendly ghost. I don't know. <laughs> and I even messed around with my buddies. I was like, as long as they don't mess with my tools, my hand tools, I don't really care what happens. 
it's not like I'm not gonna come back to work here anymore. It's just that's what my joke was. It's just like as long as they don't take my tools. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, do you, uh, have you talked to other guys here that have had the stories happen to them? Um, Scott Smith told me that he had seen some some shadows and stuff like that. Christian said he's seen lights or stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. But I've never I've heard stuff. The I guess their encounters were inside the theater, mm-hmm. never inside that little room so so the room that you're working is is it is it down below the projection booth is that where it it's is it's just to the side it's just right on, on the side of here off the driveway there. yeah oh, okay that's where i was working at so all right yeah <laughs> so what what do you what do you think it was i mean logically what do you think it was i mean really there's nothing really to explain it because the guys that i'm working with are outside and the feel, like feeling the presence of it kind of like just it was like okay there's probably spirits here and what is so, that, when you say feeling this presence, what, is it like a vibe, or what are you feeling? Well, like if, if someone were to come up to you closely, and you feel like the warmth, or something like that, that's what I felt. Like if someone was like physically right next to me. Now when you felt that, did you look or anything, or you just, it was just a feeling, how long after having felt that, did you hear the voice? Uh, like moments after, it wasn't... Because like, I felt it, and I thought, okay, they're looking over my shoulder. And then they're like, do you need help with that? And then I was like, no. All right, no, I actually said, what? Because I didn't really, it didn't really register with me for a couple of seconds. So I was like, why would you, why would, like, there's no room in there to work. So how can anyone physically help me? So that's why I kind of tripped out and looked, and I was like, yeah, there's no one there. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it, it, it was crazy. Um did the voice uh, where it came from, was it deeper inside of the, the area you're working or was it towards the door? Uh, no, it actually felt like it was closer to where, if you, go, if you go check where it's at, I'm actually facing the transformer and it felt like it was closer to my right, which is, it actually goes through here where like the voice kind of goes. You know, deeper in? Yeah, not towards, towards that little. The exit? Yeah. It felt like it was right next and to it me. it came out of your right ear. Your ear. Yeah, my right ear. It, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It was just, I know for sure that there's, there was a presence there because I felt it. And now I kind of never really believed things. I heard, like, stuff happening to different people and different encounters and never really had it done to me until, but well, believe it or now. <laughs> <laughs> so prior to coming here and working here, had you ever had any ghost things or ever did you believe in ghosts at all? Uh, well... Maybe to an extent, because you see all these, there's programs about supernatural stuff happening and stuff like that. It's like, there can't be that many people making it up, making up stories. So there has to be some type of truth to mm-hmm. some of that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I did believe that there's spirits or stuff like that. That so. Well, now you know. Yeah. That, that He sounds like me, because it's like, you just go, well, so they're faking it, blah, blah, blah. But there's so many. Yeah. That... Some of them have to be yeah. true. What, what? How many in the book? 237. Okay. Are all of them lying? No. What if one isn't lying? Yeah. 236 yeah. are lying and one isn't. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's real. By the way, the other voice that you heard was Ranger Patrick who right. was standing with me. And wouldn't he want to be there to hear this guy say, you heard something too? Right. He didn't say that. Because he's the one. Right. He's the one up in, in the master's uh, dressing room who heard, uh, you missed one. So he hears this from me. Hey, this guy heard it. He goes, "What? Well, I gotta go. I gotta hear he this. He has to check it out. I want to see you heard. So what ear did you? He's like trying to, to manage this whole situation to his situation. So it, was that fantastic? Yeah, yeah. I, it sounded like it was like super close to him. It just yeah. was right there. Well, like he said, I didn't look in there, but he said the room is really small, and he's a big guy. Yeah. So he's in there. There's no room. Like guy, he said guys could come in and out. But they're probably just coming in just to see what yeah. he's doing. Too bad we didn't document. I mean, we didn't know you. No, we if you, if you had started, when you started the job, yeah. and you thought, I'm going to document yeah. and, and do interviews with pictures, and, can yeah. you imagine what we would have had? Hundreds upon hundreds oh my gosh. of interviews. That would have been crazy. And pictures and yeah, yeah. sound bites. Yeah. And we would have had I Remember, a this is back in 98 when I started. Yeah. So they, the cam- there was no phones no. like we have today and all that stuff. Well, we... Uh, yeah, 
Um, that yeah, that was that was very cool. Yeah, that was man. Cool. That thank you, Robert. That was awesome, dude. Thank you. Uh, he's probably still thinking about it today. I bet you'll never forget it. No, and, that uh, was the first time it, anything ever really happened to him. Right? Yeah. He's never had anything, and he gets into this little tiny box. Yeah. And here's this. Do you need help? Or, you know, is that what it said? You need help with that? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, what? Because he said he was struggling. He told me, he goes, oh, I'm trying to get the, whatever he's talking about, the head to, through the thing. And he's just like, oh, oh, do you need help with that? And he's like, what? I mean, that would just, oh, my God. And you're in a confined space. It would freak me out. Oh, I would have loved it. I, that, that, and, and that small of a space, I don't think I can pull Casey in front of me. Uh, no, you would have trouble. Yeah. You would have a lot of trouble because yeah. you can't pull your own sister in front to bar block your Listen, I, the danger. I, 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 what I meant by that was to save her. No, no, no. You You're didn't. not getting All it. right. What's next? Sound of the week. Oh, we're at the end. Sound of the week. Sound of the week. What is... All right. This, is, uh, this was recorded in 2018. Okay. Uh, a long time ago. Yes. It's a, it's hard to hear. Okay. Uh, it, it's hard to hear the words. Yeah. But you definitely hear. Oh, you can. Oh, absolutely. Okay. This is something I gave Chris and said, if you can work with it and see I if tried. you can make it work. As I've told you before, I'm not an audio person. Yeah. Uh, but I did do the work to try to try to bring it out. But it's it was really just a matter of boosting it, and that's and, all. I and and, do. and this was uh, recorded. Um, on an investigation inside the mansion, and I'm be I believe probably Patrick was there, mm. a couple a couple other friends, Patrick maybe Dan, uh, a couple guys, and they're walking and talking stuff like that, and this was just a long recording, and suddenly I stopped and went, wait a minute, wait a minute, did I? Wait a minute, I run it back, and here I go, there is another voice there, it sounds like a mm -hmm. whisper, what is that person saying? I thought I knew what it was saying, and we'll, we'll play it and see if I'm even close. See if you can even hear it. Okay. And we'll just do All the right. best we can. You really pulled that up. Well, as best I could. I wish I had Pro Tools or something. I don't know if you can hear it. It goes three times? Yeah. It's like that, he's sad, he's dead. I think it's saying, he's saying she's saying he's he's dead. It's a woman. Yeah, it's a woman's voice saying he's dead. He's dead. That's what you think. I, I can't get the word. I have friends that are audio people. Mm -hmm. Boy, they could. I know they oh, can throw pull it to that. them. It'd be for yeah, us just wanna. after. It. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. Whatever. Let's uh, try it. I got to hear this again. Oh yeah, we're Please. gonna hear it a couple yeah. times. <laughs> Now, what, what is that? What's the sound? Where are we? We're, we're, we're inside, obviously, on wood. It's either the second floor landing or we're going toward maybe the boys' wing up on stairs. You're just walking up there. Or we're, yeah, or we're coming up. It, it could be a, a, a myriad of things. Coming yeah. up the steps. Nobody was talking. Step. So you, oh, they, they were talking in front of you or behind yeah. or whatever. And I think she's responding. I mean, if I could find this again, the mm -hmm. full thing. Mm-hmm. I think she's responding to what we are saying. Oh, that's what that's what we should have had. Yeah, so, so her first thing doesn't sound like he's dead. He, he, some, he's dying or, he's, or, or something, mm. and then he's dead. He's dead. That's mm. what it sounds like to me. Let's do it one more time. I want to see if you heard that first part. <laughs> the last... The last two sound identical. Yeah. They sound like it's, it, but the first she, one is different. Yeah. It, it, I, the first one I think is almost like, uh, uh, like two quick sentences. It sounds sad and it's fine. Mm. Can we do one more time? I know they're sure. probably going to go like, shut the hell. No, no, it's interesting. If she's saying he's dead, you, yeah. we don't know for sure. Well, but you know what? This is what your homework is what for is show it? 19. Oh. Your homework is see if you can find that mm. and we'll we'll say it at the beginning of the show. If we can, uh, you, you could search for that piece, I think. But no, uh, not easily. Oh, okay. No, because I think what I did was oh, you break them I up. probably snipped it and dumped the rest. Probably did. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if we don't talk about it, we won't. Yeah, yeah. 
Everybody, thank you very much. Is that cool, though? Yeah, it's it's fantastic. God, I love this stuff. All right. If, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a review, leave a comment uh, there at YouTube. It would be wonderful. We we respond to all all comments. Um, if you have a personal question, feel free to leave it uh, in YouTube in the comments. If you have a question that's very personal, um, then go ahead and go to our website, www ghostsofgraystone.com and I don't know where that appears Yeah, and uh, leave the message at uh, our website and we'll get back to you. It's it's ghostsofgraystone.com and you can buy the book there as well if, you, if you're interested. 237 stories, 86 different people, 520 pages. Wow, that sounds like a commercial. Listen, next show, which is episode... 19? 19. We're almost there, guys, and this will be it. Wow. But episode 19, apparitions, poltergeists, mm -hmm. apparitions, huh? and poltergeists. You already said that. And apparitions. All right. And apparitions. All right. You having it's, a seizure? What's going on No, No, here? it's loaded with apparitions, oh. man. It's like, this is a, you're going to love this. Yes. It's and this Spiral is, Staircase. This is part two, Spiral Staircase and the Bowling Alley. Oh. And the Bowling Alley has a fantastic. Freaky. Fan, freaky. Literally unbelievable. Yeah. You'll, you'll go, oh, that's BS. Yeah. It, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, yeah, really, good, it's really, it's really, by the way, we'll do this in your living room if you'd like. That's, that's, <laughs> we that's, are right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're at. Okay. All right. Send okay. us away. Hi, okay. Listen, uh, of all the things that have been said tonight, you know, and I know, and you know, you big dummy, you know <laughs> that just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. Ask, ask uh, Robert. He'll tell you. Give him a call. I apologize for him. Thanks for being here. We love you. We appreciate you being here. We'll see you next week. Bye. A hundred horses in five freight trains Couldn't drag me into that early grave I've cashed in the mistakes I've made While God rode shotgun from a million miles away Sorrow, I don't walk in shame. I don't deal in hearsay. I don't dwell in blame. Sometimes it's best to forget what I know and what they say. But this ain't that time, and this ain't that day. Don't deal in hearsay, I 